Good morning, everyone. This is definitely one of those stay in your pajamas days, if you can. If anyone is new to this class, welcome. My name is Aviva, and I'm here to chill with you and do some qigong movements for our health and wellness. And before I forget, speaking of health and wellness, I just finished editing a new video on health and wellness as it relates to things that you ingest, specifically sauerkraut. So that is coming out this Thursday. So keep an eye out for that and learn everything that you didn't know and probably don't need to know about sauerkraut, but I like getting geeky. So welcome to today's class. I'm excited to, uh, to share Qigong with all of you. It is such an incredible way to stay healthy. And I'm not just talking about physically, I'm talking about mentally, emotionally, and all that good stuff. So set your environment, maybe put on a candle, turn off some lights, whatever you need to do. <clears throat> Yeah, it is pouring out there. I mean, get cuddly, get snuggly. I've got my warm coffee here, you know, cater to your coziness. This is a cozy class for you and me as we connect and have our tea. Notice your breath, notice your heartbeats. Connect with the love inside and be connected to your flow. Notice your breath, notice your heartbeats. Wow. I guess we might get disconnected from the rain. It's amazing that we're still here. Nature is incredible an incredible power she is let's get some cozy music on to accompany us today this is on my band camp which you are welcome to check out anytime just need to download the app it's super super easy and then you can listen to music all day long for free um it doesn't play ads, but you can only listen to stuff a few times and then you do have to purchase it. But it's cheap and you know you want to support musicians anyway because got to have that music flow, right? We don't want everything to turn robotic on our butts. Notice your breath. Notice your heartbeats. Breathe. <sighs> What is it that you need today? Get in touch with your needs. Thank you. 
What is your intention for class today? Share your name and your intentions whenever you feel like it. My name is Aviva and my intention is to be here with all of you today and to show that it can just be easy and simple. You can still be wearing your pajamas or putting on your pajamas and you can just do some easy Qigong. For myself, I would really like to focus on some skin detoxing. I've got some redness and there are certain Qigong moves that we can do to help our skin release these toxins and be healthier, like drinking water. Which is somewhat of a move. You're moving the water towards your lips. What are your intentions today? I await patiently your intentions for class today. Your intentions all written down, if not with a pen and paper or a keyboard, with your hearts and with your mind. We're going to breathe in our intentions, release anything in the way. Breathe in our intentions, release resistance. Breathe in intentions. Release anything you don't need. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. Breathe in your intentions. Release whatever is in the way. Make sure your environment is peaceful. Maybe turn off your phones. We're going to start by just continuing to sit and breathe. Connect with your energy within. And just visualize what it is for you that you want for yourself today. Thank you. 
Allow your lips to part and feel the separation and the relaxation of your face. Visualize the restoration and the rejuvenation and the reintegration that you are looking for in your mind, body, and heart. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Okay, how's everyone feeling? <clears throat> Let's talk about the skin for a moment. There are a lot of things that you can do to help to keep your skin clear. And think about your skin as like clothing. Like what do we do to keep our clothing nice? We might iron it, we wash it. We sew up any holes. So our skin is like a beautiful bodysuit that we're wearing and it needs to be cleaned. And yes, we shower and that might be a way, but the key to reviving your skin is like stretching it out and moving it out and pushing through the kinks and, and the circulation is key. So of course, exercise, even Qigong exercise is really good for your whole skin health. Also, the Qigong exercises that we do where we contract and express it. It's like any kind of jiggling in that skin really helps things get moving. And then there's something called brushing as well, where you take a dry like shower brush and you just brush, brush, brush towards that lymph and get the skin moving towards that lymph. And one more thing I'm gonna say about the skin is that in Chinese medicine, and you can kind of brush yourselves with your finger as well. I'm doing while I'm talking. In Chinese medicine, the skin is directly connected to the health of one specific organ. Do you know what that organ is? So, for example, there's a lot of things like that in Chinese medicine. Our vision is also connected to this same organ. And then our um, ears are connected to an organ, the kidneys. Our mouths are connected to this organ, the stomach and the spleen. So what are our eyes and skin connected with? Our liver and our gallbladder. So we're gonna do stuff for our liver and gallbladder today as well as the skin, because it's all connected. So massage is so good for the health of your skin getting things moving and flowing from one place to another and traveling. So we're just doing some self-massage, some brushing in all the different places in the skin, nice and gently. Just these little brushing movements, getting things flowing, brushing towards the lymph nodes, towards the underarms towards the upper thighs. It might make you burp. Really getting that skin moving in its elasticity, in its bounciness, in its ability to travel with things, like a highway that you're stopping the traffic and that you're helping the traffic move. The traffic jams, the toxic dumps, that's what can cause those, those pimples, the toxins that are trying to get out. So let's do a couple more skin exercises. Like the facelift exercise. We're going to squish the face together and open it up. the whole body if you're standing you could now we're going to just stretch that upper back where so many things get caught we need to move it around so we're just going to open and release
And we're gonna go up, back and forth. Moving, you feel how that skin under the traps move. You don't want that, the toxins trapped in the traps. Just gently moving back and forth. Nice easy class today, y'all. Might not even do the Wuji Gong. This helps to open up the lungs too. All those connective tissues, it's all connected to that skin health. The joints are all connected to that skin, tendon, collective tissue, connective tissue health. Just move our hands around, forward and down. We kind of feel that skin opening around the hands. Add your feet up, down, up, down, up, down. Rotate your feet and your wrists in a circle like that. Other direction. And shake it out. Squeeze, so curl those toes under and then open. You can add your face. your toes. Two more. Oh, 
Open up your right hand in a V, bring it around that left ear, scoop down towards this lymph node in your neck. Swallow and then massage. Pump, pump that skin a couple more times. Let's do some raking in the face. Open it up. Three fingers, nice and easy. the nose. Nice and gentle. Just two fingers up first. And now three. is like your spaceship, like your UFO. And it has all of these connections and special buttons. 
to get your whole body functioning, holding it all together. Oh, okay. Woo. This is subscriber only. Let me see if I've got any emails related to class. I don't see anything. All right, we're going to do some liver stuff. Liver mudra, thumb to the ring and the med and the, 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 the middle finger. Yeah, is that right? Okay, hold this. Relax under the arms. Connect with your liver, smile on your liver. See your liver smiling back at you. Feel the energy between your thumb and your fingers. Feel the magnetic pull gently.
Yoga Mudra. Skin detox. Hormonal balance. Nice, chill, easy, meditative Qigong today. Soothing to the skin, to your lymph system. hydrating today, drinking plenty of water, one of the best things that you can do for your skin, drinking water. Drinking water and exercising. This is an exercise. A living nature and exercise. You're just joining and would like to express an intention for class, feel free. Now our liver is just below the rib cage. Find your bottom rib and take these three fingers and just from the sternum area, gently press down towards that rib on the side of the body. Just kind of raking across that skin, just saying hi to the liver. Thank you to the liver, smiling on your liver. Your liver appreciates you as you appreciate your liver. About 30 times, this is 11. Massaging that area with a gentle push in all the way down, following that rib line. Feeling the protection that you give yourself, the safety you feel with this limp massage connective tissue massage. We'll stop here. We're gonna to go to the other side. This is actually where our spleen is. So just smiling on the spleen, thanking the spleen, thanking your rib cage. Ah, 
Um, okay, let's do the foot massage now. Let's get those feet moving. Keeping our feet massaged is really important for our skin. We're gonna rotate each toe a few times in each direction, pull the toe away from the foot. Each toe. And then you're gonna rotate the whole foot, the whole ankle, a few times in each direction. Pull the toes back and rub the bottom of the feet. And rub between the toes. Pressing nice and easy in between those toes, massaging that skin, feeling it circulate, pushing the toxins. And then we're gonna find a point on the bottom of the foot, pressure point, we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. That was a quick rain, huh? You never know, maybe the sun will come out. Aaron Jordan.